I'm here to do a reading for my beautiful Aquarius. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. So we have message in the bottle, okay? So there's some type of communication here. Somebody wants to communicate. Somebody wants to speak to you. It's giving like the eight of wands energy. One and five, break it down to a six. Um, six speaks about partnerships. It also speaks about somebody giving you something or, um, or somebody who you once gave to. Give me more Holy Spirit. Somebody could live near water. Somebody could be getting a message while they're near water. Yeah, we have the thinker here. 4-4 four, four. is giving like the hermit energy. 4-4-4 four, four, four also speaks about, you know, you being protected, you being loved, you being supported. Yeah. Yeah, but this thinker, someone has any, someone has any thoughts about you. Someone who loves you. Give me more Holy Spirit. Yeah, someone is down. Someone could be feeling down. But I'm looking at this um this face in the shadow. There's like a but there's an angel or a spirit guide that's watching over you. If you was waiting receiving some type of um you was looking for answers, you're about to receive that. With all of these stars on this card, um, there's some type of healing energy that's coming towards you. I'm also getting someone is thinking about you, but they're in the shadow. Someone is thinking about you. Somebody wants to heal a situation with you as well. Any more? We have time to go. Okay, but it came out in reverse. So you could have walked away from a situation with the four and five, breaking down to a nine, wrapped up a cycle, okay? Um, you could be starting something new, embracing something new, but somebody is sad, somebody is down. Um, somebody wanna heal a situation with you, they wanna message you, but the time to go in reverse, this is somebody who doesn't want you to leave or walk away. Yeah, no place like home. Somebody feels like there's no place like home, but with you. Um, Four, four, like I said, speaks about love and being supported. Somebody feels safe and secure, you know, um, you know, in your energy being around you. Yeah, we have milk and honey under the bottom. I told you, the tea just tastes so good. It tastes even better. I see my sunflower. It tastes even better with the honey. Mmm. So somebody feels like life is just better with you. Like you just taste so good. It's just. Somebody feels like life will be good around you. You still got this milk and honey. You see this big old rainbow? Yeah. Rainbow. I said rainbow. I meant to say rainbow. Somebody feels like life is better with you. Yes. Whoever you walked away from, somebody doesn't want you to go. Let's clarify. I'm talking to you. Let's clarify. <clears throat> What is this message in the bottom? Who was there? What is this message in the bottom? Like this one. Okay. Somebody also feel like they work better with you. So this could be somebody who doesn't want to work with anyone but you. What's the message in the bottom, Holy Spirit? What's the message in the bottom? Thank you. So we have the high priestess. Seven of swords under the bottom. So your intuition could have told you um, someone was being very deceptive, someone was lying, they was being seek, sneaky. Because um, <clears throat> like I said, with this woman being here, it looks like that there's a spirit guy in the shadows. So you could have definitely received a download, a message 
high priestess, your intuition could have told you something about someone, and you could have decided to walk away, but with the time to go in reverse, somebody doesn't want you to leave. What's behind the seven of swords? Seven of swords, seven pinnacles, seven, seven warning. Um, yeah, you could have been warned. Um, um, you could have received the red flag about someone with the justice card, leap or energy. Okay. Seven is towards Aquarius energy. And we have, um, we're dealing with a Taurus with the seven of pentacles, high priestess, Pisces energy. What's the high priestess messaging about them? Yeah, it's like whoever you walked away from, somebody feels like there's no place like home but with you. They feel like with the milk and honey, life is sweet with you. Eight of Cups in reverse, this is somebody who does not want you to get away or, or you know, um, to leave. Somebody could be very stressed at this time. Like I said, with the 444, this could have been somebody who, um, you know, who loved and wishing that they would have supported you. And this could have been somebody who you loved and you supported at one time with the five and one breaking down to a six. You could have gave to this person and they betrayed you. What's the message in the bottom with the high priestess? Message in the bottom with the high priestess. Yeah, three is towards. And it fell out under Thinka. So somebody is thinking about how they hurt you, something. Yeah, they think about how they hurt you, how you love them, how you supported them, how your energy is very healing. This person can be viewing you as a star with the milk and honey. Somebody can be feeling like life is sweet for you, you know. Um, they could be going through some things with the justice card. We see somebody could be dealing, feeling like they, you know, they're dealing with karma for what they did to you. Give me more high priestess. High priestess message in the bottom. We have the Six of Wands. Mm. Yeah. Somebody feels like um, you successfully, um, you know, um, moved on and life is sweet with the milk and honey. Somebody feel like you get a lot of success, recognition, praise, you know. Um, somebody wasn't ready for what you, you know, what you was offered at that time. And now they regret. King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Now somebody, um, somebody could be watching you have a passion in the beginning, working with um, others and wishing that they was a part of it. There's also somebody who wants to team up and work with you and have a new passion in the beginning. But with the Eight of Swords, they feel stuck. Yeah. There's somebody who feels like um, you could, yeah, Eight of Swords came back out. Yeah, this is somebody who betrayed you and you received truth and clarity and you and you walked away. What's the Six of Wands? It's like with the High Priest of Six of Wands, your intuition was on point about something with someone. Queen of Pentacles and the Chariot, yeah. Your intuition was on point. This could have been somebody you was married to or you're using a commitment with. Um, we did see the King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and Three of Pentacles earlier, and there's another three here. So you could have found out about a third party. You could have found out if somebody was married, or you could have found out somebody was working with someone else, gave someone else a commitment, and you you decided to go. Um, somebody could be in regret about starting something or, or you know keeping themselves stuck in a situation because they feel like they're not happy where they at. They're wishing that they would have been with you. Queen of Pentacles, you've been dealing with, um, this could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Chariot, Cancer, Energy. I feel like, um, somebody wants to move on from someone. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles and Justice. Like, whoever they invested their time and their energy into with the Justice, somebody wants a divorce. Like, they want to separate from this energy, Five of Cups. Yeah, they in a lot of regret. The Hermit. Yeah, the Hermit to the Pentacles, the Fool card. It's like um, somebody feel like they, somebody could have ghosted. They ten the Pentacles, they family. Yeah, it's like now with the Temperance and the, the Empress, like somebody wants to come in and balance things out. Also with the Emperor to the Temperance card, somebody also feels like your life is peaceful. Like they feel like you got more peace now since you guys have separated. Since you have freed yourself, they feel like you you drowning in the Ten of Pentacles and milk and honey, and they dealing with karma. It's like somebody trying to get away from someone. What's the chariot? They trying to get away from a third party that come towards you, or they could have possibly gotten away already. 
what's the, the chariot energy? The chariot is clarified with the seven of wands. I feel like you left that season. You, you, um, you standing your ground towards this person. Yeah, you set up boundaries. I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles, you know, you're focusing on yourself, taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself. Okay, um, you could be focused on your business at this time. You know, putting your family first. Good confirmation. You know. I feel like you're someone who's very grounded with the Queen of Pentacles to the Chariot to the Seven of Wands. You're protecting your peace. You're very grounded. Um, and anybody with the Seven of Wands that want you thinking they're going to come in and, you know, disturb your peace after breaking your heart, you're standing your ground. You're like, no. Mm -mm. Ace of Pentacles. What's the time to go in reverse? Time to go in reverse. Thank you. King of Wands, we're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Whoever this person is, they want to um, they want to heal things with you. Force towards to the Eight of Wands, they want to communicate. Okay, somebody wants to see you. You make this person nervous. <laughs> the seven of cups, eight of, eight of wands. They make this person nervous. Somebody don't like, should I send an email? Should I call? Somebody nervous. They feel like you don't want to talk to them. You could possibly even got this person blocked. What's the time to go in, re um, in reverse with the eight of wands? Time to go in reverse. Yeah, the star card. I feel like you always on this person's mind. They see you as this star. They feel like, this is somebody who feels like you get a lot of attention. Your energy, confirmation. Your energy is very healing, okay? This is somebody who wants to heal a situation with you. Confirmation. Mm-hmm. Could be dealing with Aquarius. But somebody feels like something is taking over them. And I feel like it happened out of nowhere. Yeah. This could have even been somebody who ran from you at one point in time. And now they want to come back because they feel like no place is no place like home but with you. This is somebody who deep, deep, deep endured about how you loved them, how you supported them, how you was there for them. Somebody found you very um, attractive. Somebody likes your hair. They, love, they like the way you keep your nails. Whether you wear tips or just natural, somebody loves something about you. Knight of Cups under the bottom. Yeah, Knight of Cups <laughs> to the I can't make it up. Knight of Cups, Three of Cups. Somebody wants to reconcile with you. Mm-hmm. Yep, they want to bring you on a love offer. Mm-hmm. Queen of Cups. Yeah, this person is in the equivalent. Somebody's in love with you. But like I said, the, the three of swords fell out on the thinker. Somebody could just be thinking a, a lot about how much they broke your heart. How many, this could have been, you could have found out about multiple third parties. So this could have been like a round and round situation where it's like every time you turn around, this person putting you in a third party situation and only to realize you're the only one who really had their back. You're the only one who loved them, supported them. You don't, you gave to them. Damn. Seven of swords, eight of swords. Somebody is stuck in their head. I'm also hearing somebody feel like they would never find another lover like you. Especially this Queen of Pentacles, someone who's very generous, very sweet, you know, got that motherly love about you, and you handle business, and you stand on business with the seven of wands. Yeah, somebody's like somebody thinking about everything. What's the star card? The King of Wands. They don't want you to get away. Knight of Pentacles to the lovers. Mm. What's this? The Nine of Swords. <sighs> this person delayed. Um, this person... They delayed this connection, you know. They took their slow time. This somebody who had choices, you know, options. And now, you know, you know, it's like with this thing, it's like you all they can think about now. How they hurt you. How they how they chose other people over you. Gemini energy, Taurus Virgo energy. Mm. 
Und wo ist der Meile Pentecost? It's like somebody who lost you since you walked away. It's like now they they they, they feel like they should have cherished you. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Thank you. The Knight of Pentacles is clarified with the Queen of Cups in reverse. They feel like they should have cherished you because whoever they chose over you with the Queen of Cups in reverse, somebody they, you know they was they was emotional. You know they didn't give emotions. They didn't show emotions like you did. They weren't loving. They weren't caring. They weren't sensitive towards their needs the way you were. They got with somebody that was just not not you. That's all I'm gonna say. That's why it's no place like home. They were not. They were not you. Okay. This person could even made you feel insecure at some at, at one point in time. Um, made you feel like you was giving too much, or you know you was overly sensitive in this connection with them, only to choose somebody else over you that didn't give no emotions, that wasn't nurturing, that wasn't caring. Yeah, I'm hearing you also even picked this person up at one point when they was down. Knight of Cups to the, I'm telling you, Knight of Cups to the Two of Cups. And now they only got eyes for you. Now they only, they, they choose you. And they hoping that you feel the same way or you still feel the same way about them. With the Eight of Cups in reverse, somebody does not want you to walk away. Somebody also don't want to walk away from you who possibly walked away before. Now they want to spend a block with the Two of Cups, Knight of Cups. Five of Pentacles. This is somebody who ghosted you, left you out in the cold. Five of Swords. Five Five. This person is going through changes. Queen of Swords. Now that you have set up boundaries with this person, Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person is having sleepless nights. Or, you know, this person thinks a lot about you at night when they go to bed. The Moon card, I cannot make it up. They think a lot about you at night. The Hangman, someone is stuck. With the page of wands, how do I message this person? <clears throat> this person could be watching you from afar a lot. Give me a card on the lovers. The lovers. The lovers. <clears throat> the lovers, Holy Spirit. The lovers. 